So now in this video we're going to use a, a dual supply. You can see we got a positive voltage and a negative voltage in relationship to ground going on. Op amp as a voltage follower. So there's actually two op amps in the integrated circuit, the TL0A2. This is one out of two. The other one we're using as a virtual ground. We covered that in uh, recent videos and that is practically the same circuitry that we're using here. The thing is we use fixed resistors though. Uh, 10k to the positive side and uh, 10k to the uh, negative side of the power supply and 8 volt power supply and so we got half the voltage we got 4 volts there but uh, we could also think of that as 0 volts with 4 volts more positive and 0 volts with 4 volts negative so it split the supply in any case that's a voltage uh, follower we got another one here the difference is we can adjust that so I forgot to draw the little arrow there but uh, this is a trim pot we can slide the wiper up and down, get a fraction of the voltage. So trim pots make a great voltage divider, really great. Problem is, they can't really power things because that throws off the voltage. It brings you closer or uh, farther from uh, ground, positive supply, negative supply, whichever direction you're headed. And uh, so it's not uh, great for powering things, but you can give that voltage to an integrated circuit input or a transistor or any other amplifier. And uh, then you don't really need any current especially for an op amp you need practically none there's a tiny leakage of current but it does not depend on current at all so what the op amp does internally is raise and lower its output voltage as needed to try to get the same voltage at the inverting input as the non-inverting input when you have a direct connection to the inverting input that makes things uh, really simple it knows exactly how much to raise or lower the voltage it's the exact same voltage you're feeding into there. You'll have the same voltage at both points. The thing is that uh, you don't need any of this voltage to provide current. The power supply provides current at that point as much as the op amp can output and within the output range of uh, the voltage. It doesn't make it all the way to the positive supply or all the way to the negative supply for a lot of op amps, especially if you have a load. So in any case, we have a polarity indicator here. When it gets positive enough, the red LED will light up. When it gets negative enough, the blue LED will light up. I like uh, that color coding. And uh, that's really about it for this circuit. We could go lower in resistance with this because we're not dealing with much voltage, uh, plus four or minus four in relationship to zero. So only four volt maximum. And uh, so 150 ohm would work. LEDs would be brighter, but uh, one kilo ohm is a good just general value. It'll work in a lot of circuits. So for quick putting together, it's a nice value but in any case let's get to looking at it on the board and so here we are here's our virtual ground we got that one to the negative supply that one to the positive supply they're both 10 kilo ohms so we got a halfway point there as far as the power supply is concerned that's the uh, non-inverting the inverting and the output output is tied to the uh, inverting and of course we have to power it pin 8 to the positive supply and uh, pin uh, 4 to the negative supply so plus VC or uh, negative VCC if you want to go by those. In any case, here you can see the resistor there going to our virtual ground there. And we have our LEDs, of course, the short lead, the cathode, needs to go to the output for the blue LED, long lead up there to the resistor, and the red LED wired in the opposite direction. Long lead the anode to the output, short lead the cathode up. And we have the same circuitry over here, the uh, inverting input tied to the output, but uh, we have a trim pot to the non-inverting input. That is the uh, main thing. So we got the oscilloscope, we'll look at that. We have eight volts there. And I limited current to uh, 20 milliamps, just in case I short circuit something. It uh, won't fry, only 20 milliamps of current can flow through it. So the other side of the oscilloscope are these alligator clips. We will go to virtual ground right there, the output. And we'll uh, zoom back. And first we'll take a look at uh, this is why I have 8 volts. I can go 4 volts positive with the oscilloscope there. It's right at the edge. And we can go to uh, 4 volts negative. So you won't be able to tell if it went beyond that, but it's not going beyond that. We have 8 volts total. That's, that's the main thing. So now we'll zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I got the trim pot set about halfway, and we'll put it to the output right there. And we'll zoom back. And there you can see the, uh, the little waveform. We're in the middle, so I have to go down a fair amount for the blue LED to light up and there you can see it is lighting up we'll actually turn the uh, lamp off no we'll leave the lamp on in any case you can see the blue LED it lit up we went down there so we didn't get all the way to zero volts it falls a little shy that's because of the load though this one if you pull it 
the uh, load, you can get to zero volts. So if you just give something a weak signal, you can get zero volts. Now, we uh, go up, we go halfway, there it is, halfway. We go positive, the red LED lights up. There it's fallen a, a bit short of the positive supply rail. With this op amp, that you're kind of stuck with that. Uh, so if you need an op amp that goes rail to rail, you gotta, you gotta find one. So in any case, that is really about it. Let's show though, I'm gonna lower this until it starts moving down a little bit. And uh, let's go to that point right there. And you'll notice if I yank it from the output and go to the non-inverting input, that's the signal we're given. There you can see, it's in the same spot right there. And we can go down, of course, and we will uh, zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bit better. I'll yank this. I can either go to the non -in to the inverting input, I mean, or the output, doesn't matter. They're connected by that little jumper and uh, direct connection. There you can see, same voltage right there. So it's holding the same voltage. It's a voltage follower. So that's really about it. That's all I can say. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I post to the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. But uh, just watch as many videos as you can. Helps out a ton. So thanks to everybody that uh, does that. I will see you in the next video.